Why do some young people commit crime while others do not? Acts of crime are caused by a combination of internal and external factors. This combination determines whether people see and choose crime as a possible action in the situation they're facing. Our environment is an important factor in relation to crime. For example, a person may refrain from committing crime if the surrounding environment condemns it. Conversely, there are environments where crime is acceptable and an expression of a social norm. These are referred to as criminogenic settings. Here, the same person may be more tempted to commit crime, assuming their own morality does not stand in the way. Our morals and self-control are therefore essential internal factors which can affect criminal actions. If someone thinks that a criminal act is morally wrong and it will give a sense of shame or guilt, then the person will rarely consider a criminal act as a possibility. A person's degree of self-control and ability to resist temptation and peer pressure would also reduce the likelihood of actively and consciously deciding to commit a criminal act. So how can we work with the individual child's surroundings, morality and self-control, either directly or through others, so the child can resist crime? Some children grow up in environments that expose them to divergent norms and criminal opportunities. It may be in areas where crime is more concentrated. But children can be shielded from criminal and hazardous environments and situations without adult supervision. This can be done through challenging and engaging leisure activities, in a safe environment with responsible adults, by creating a positive and inclusive class culture, or by forming parent networks. Children do not grow up with the same preconditions for developing high morals and self-control. It depends on whether they've been surrounded by supportive and stable adults since childhood. But we can strengthen the individual child's morality and self-control in various ways. Supportive and stable adults in the family, school or in leisure time can teach the child accepted values and norms and take action against breaches of those norms. And where needed, healthcare and parenting programmes can help the family become good role models for the child. The child's social, emotional and cognitive development can be enhanced by dedicated adults who teach the child to deal with conflicts and to be helpful and responsible. The adults around the child can, for example, be a social educator or teacher, a trainer, mentor or a significant family member who, by expressing positive expectations, gives the child confidence in their own abilities. And if the child has confidence in their own abilities and can deal with conflicts in a good way, it's easier to resist external peer pressure. Crime is therefore not something that lives in particular people or environments. Criminal acts stem from an interaction between a person's inner traits and the norms and expectations of the surrounding environment.